Hey everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. I want to take a moment today to talk to you a little bit about social media, images, and spiritual workers and being on a spiritual path. Um, namely, the main thing that I want to say is don't be afraid to be real. Um, don't get caught up in comparing yourself to other people on social media. Social media is a really um, wild place. It's a, it's a place where we present images of ourselves. It's a place where we create, uh, where we create our brand, where we create our images. It is not necessarily a representation of who people really are. So when you see people out there acting as if their life is perfect because they are on a spiritual path and therefore they are immensely blessed and therefore everything falls into place for them perfectly and they don't have a complaint in the world, um, that is not necessarily true. And the reason that I know it is not true is because inner spiritual work is very hard. If you're doing it right, if you're facing those shadows, if you're actually making progress within yourself, removing and releasing those emotional and mental, mental blockages that you need to remove and release, then there will be times when you are going to struggle. It is going to be painful. Um, you are going to experience difficulty. It is challenging. If you are honestly and truly on a spiritual path, you will be dedicated to growing always. And that means that you will know you are not perfect. Your life is not perfect. You always have room for new growth and to better yourself and to face difficulties. Life is not perfect. People are not perfect and spiritual workers cer certainly are not perfect. So do not buy into the image or the message that if you're doing the right thing, if you're on the right path and you're doing everything perfectly just the way that you should be, then you won't ever face any challenges or obstacles or problems. That's not the truth. That is not the truth. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid or mostly more importantly, don't be sad. Don't be upset when you see other people that seem like they're presenting themselves as if everything is just lovely all the time and you're sitting there thinking, but what, why do I have these challenges? Why do I face these obstacles when everyone else seems to be doing so wonderfully? Well, the truth is everyone else is facing these challenges and obstacles too. Um, so, you know, it is important how you perceive it. Um, it is important to know that just because you're facing problems doesn't mean that you're cursed or you're being punished or um, your life is harder than other people. So those kinds of mindsets need to be worked on. Um, we need to recognize that it's a, a normal part of life to have problems and it's all about how we face those problems. If we face them as challenges, if we learn to continue to grow from them, etc. But the point is, Deep down work, deep down spiritual work, self-work, self-growth, it's hard work. It's going to be challenges. You're going to have difficult times, and you're not alone. Don't feel like you're not alone, and don't be afraid if you're not perfect, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about anything mentioned here, or if you have um, any other suggestions for future videos. I'm always open to suggestions. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video and stay blessed.